Unlocking the Mystery of Languid, a Comprehensive Guide. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where learning English is all about making it easy, fun, and very interactive. Today, we've got an interesting word that we're going to unravel together. The word, languid. Whether you've come across this word while reading a book, heard it in a conversation, or this is your first time encountering it, by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly what it means and how to use it in your own conversations and writing. First things first, let's get to know our word better. Languid is an adjective, which means it's a word used to describe a noun. When something is described as languid, it's typically slow-moving, relaxed, and showing little energy or interest. Think about a lazy, slow-flowing river, or someone lounging around with no hurry in the world. That's the vibe, languid, gives off. Now that we know what, languid, means, let's see how we can use it in sentences. 1. She gave a languid wave of her hand, showing she wasn't really interested in what was happening. 2. In this sentence, languid, describes the wave of the hand, showing a lack of energy or enthusiasm. 3. The languid pace of the small town suited him well after years of living in the bustling city. 4. Here, languid, is describing the pace, or speed, at which life moves in the small town, slow and relaxed. 5. Despite the heat, the flowers remained languid and drooping. 6. In this example, languid is used to describe the flowers, showing that they are weak and lacking in energy. While languid often carries a negative connotation, implying sluggishness or a lack of energy, it can also have a more positive or neutral sense, especially when describing a relaxed and peaceful setting or manner. It's important to pay attention to the context in which it is used to fully understand the intended meaning. And there you have it, a deep dive into the word, languid. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting adjective and that you feel more confident using it in your own English conversations and writings. If you have any questions or need further examples, feel free to drop a comment below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more language learning content. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.